JJ, JJ, you already know it's your boy Joe. Back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen. All right. So people have been asking me, what are some tips to basically not get fired, right, on your first job? Some tips that I can actually give you guys. All right. Very simple. Number one, which is this is something that a lot of people make, you know, leave curse words in your comments or in your console log. Sometimes you're testing something, like I'm guilty of it, I always use bullshit. Like I'll be like, uh, top header bullshit. <laughs> and I'll put BS or whatever. A lot of times you do that and you never know when your code is gonna go to production. Sometimes little things like that slip up. I remember a kid a few years ago in a company that I used to work for, he actually went and had a, a comment where it's like, I fucking hate working here, da da da, whatever. So in his head, he was thinking like maybe nobody was gonna read that. But it happens that the CTO was going over everybody's Git log and so for some reason he found the file and he was like, hey, and he actually made an example of him and basically said, hey guys, this is exactly what you guys cannot do. And he said, pick up your things, you better get ready, and go to HR. That's it. Once they send you to HR, that means they're going to give you your little goodbye package. Where it's like, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> All right? So that's a way to get fired. Another way to get fired quick is taking advantage. Meaning, yeah, you're working at your job, right? But then you have side projects. So you have side projects, right? And if you work at a certain company, it doesn't matter what company it is, and they find out that you're working on side projects on their hour, basically you're getting fired. It's that simple. You know, there's nothing more to it. It's like, you know, or even if they even think that you're working on their time, they will fire you. All right. <laughs> So make sure if you're doing your side projects, do it at five o'clock once you leave. Just keep it simple. Save your, yourself the fucking headache. So what's the next thing? Okay, also number three, coming into work late, all right? A lot of times, you know, as developers, we're salary and we have like a little special thing going on where the employees don't really care what time you come in as long as it's reasonable and you actually stay late. So if you're coming in, if your time is from nine to five and you come in at 11 o'clock and then when you're coming at 11 o'clock, you leave at five o'clock on the dot, somebody at one point, they're gonna keep on seeing that and they're gonna be like, yo, this guy's only doing like six hours. And he, not only that, that he also taking his lunch break. So people do notice those things, right? So, don't take advantage, guys, because somebody will snitch. Somebody will be like, hey, why am I working eight hours and this guy comes in and he only works six hours and leaves here on time, but he never gets here on time, all right? Another thing is basically copying somebody else's code, right? Sometimes we do that all the time, like, you know, we basically go and we find something on Stack Overflow or whatever, but if you copy another company's code, like let's say you go into somebody's um, source and somehow you unminify their JavaScript and then from there you go in and you copy it line by line and it's exactly the same way. And then for whatever reason, the other company finds out, which is a competitor or whatever, they will fire you at your company because not only can they get sued, but it just looks bad, man. Like, yes, you could make the same thing, but like, let's say right now, we could go in and have something like Trello, right? I could go in and make Trello a clone of it, but I can't go into Trello's code and copy the code that it has. I have to rewrite it all over again and make it my own words and my own code. It's that simple. All right, guys, and also number five, is losing control sometimes you're dealing with assholes and everybody knows that like you work at a place and people are just straight up assholes like there's no way around it 
you know, you can't work with them, whatever. But you have to keep it professional. You can never take it to the point where you're like, you know what, let's fight. You know what, let's start screaming in the office. You know what, let's start cursing at each other. You cannot do that. That's automatically getting fired, like it or not. Because now you're basically building a hostile environment for everybody else in the office. And they're like, you know what, man? Why the hell do we have this both of these guys? Or sometimes they, they might choose the favor. You know what I mean? Like they might choose like, hey, Johnny, Johnny's been there for four years and you just came in here last year. They're gonna go for Johnny over you. So they're gonna fire your ass and Johnny's gonna be staying there with a big smile on his face. And most likely you will never see that person ever again in your life. So now you lost your job. Now you don't have no money in your pocket, and now you and your family are living under a bridge. <laughs> all right, it's that simple, guys. Just keep it professional, all right? So I just gave you, I think, five situations on basically how to get fired right away. So all I can say is, guys, just keep it professional. Listen to these tips. Listen to your boy. I would never tell you no lie. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. And yeah, by the way, man, the courses is right there in the description, man. Courses that made me into a developer and gave me an opportunity to become something great. You know what I mean? Anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses 